like big butts and I cannot lie. You other brothers can't deny. And when a girl walks in with an itty bitty waist and a round thing in your face, you get sprung. Wanna pull up tough, cause you notice that butt was stuck. Deep in the jeans she's wearing. I'm hooked and I can't stop staring. Oh, baby, I wanna get whipped up and take your picture. Hey, my name's Laura Davis. I will be your instructor for today. Today we're going to learn about the Grand Engineering Challenge Advanced Health Informatics. So how's that sound, y'all? Yay! That's your Several bad puns later. Hello, 911. This is Jamal, Jamal Nababatunde. What is your emergency? Hi, this is Katie Smeaver. My friend has passed out on the floor. He just came in from a run, and I'm pretty sure he has a heart condition. What is your location? I'm at Coleman House Bates Number 2, uh, 1440 Hubbard in Ann Arbor. Team of paramedics is being sent to your location and should be there shortly. But in the meantime, do you mind telling me your friend's name? His name is Carlos Solis. Okay, please stay on the phone. We'll be there, and the paramedics will arrive shortly. All right, do you have any information about Carlos, for example, where he is originally from? I'm asking these questions so we will have the ability to quickly find him and his medical records. Okay, his, he's from Chicago, Illinois, and his mom's name is Christina, and his dad's name is Juan. And his birthday is May 21st, but I'm not entirely sure what year it is. Okay. Thank you. I was able to find his records in the system, and therefore the paramedics will be able to treat your friend Carlos immediately upon arrival. Thank you so much! A few moments later... Oh, thank God you guys are here! Alright, we need space. I know exactly what's wrong. We need treatment immediately. Carlos? Charger? Using advanced health informatics, Carlos was saved due to just a little bit of information that Katie was able to provide. The operator easily found Carlos's records and that is why the paramedics knew exactly what was wrong with him. This is an example of what the future will hold, a universal standard of providing health information to 911 operators and health officials so they can respond more quickly and efficiently to health emergencies. 8.01 p.m. My grandson just set up this thing called Book face on my computer. Really? They have a book of faces? What's this computer you speak of? Well, it's this box of sometimes folder looking doohickey that the kids these days put stuff on. Does that help? Oh, I guess. I think that's why they put our health information on what we get in for our appointments. I keep seeing doctors carry them around and ask us questions during appointments. Why in the world would doctors these days use computers to record our health information? In my day, we just used paper and pen and that was perfectly sufficient. Why do they need to change the system that's been around for years? I don't know. It, it's just absurd. What if this isn't safe? I've heard of people who've lost their ideas. Identities on the interwebs. I don't trust the system. 
Technology truly is ruining the world. 3.28 AM. Three weeks later. So much later that the old narrator got tired of waiting and they had to hire a new one. Actually, technology is what has allowed us to advance health treatment. It could save your life. We need to keep track of your records in a globally standardized way so you're healthier and live longer. Don't worry, there are various softwares already in place to secure your information so it will be safe. However, any technology is constantly being impro improved by engineers. Engineers, if you don't already know, are the new cutting edge innovators that are in charge of improving the technology we have today. You'll get used to it. As you can see, we're at the University of Michigan Hospital. Okay. Harlem shit. 